difference between a judge and a magistrate a magistrate is appointed by the state government it is not appointed by a judge what happens that magistrates are given appointment for a specific reason so there is a territorial jurisdiction under which a magistrate has to perform but a judge has the territorial jurisdiction over the whole state or of the concerned state judges are appointed by president of india on the contrary district judges are appointed by governor of a state district judge is the highest judicial officer at the state level and chief justice of a high court is the highest justice or an individual who is the senior most judge in a high court of a state judges retire at 62 years of age on the contrary magistrates or district judges retire at at the age of 60 district judges are given promotion to high court but this is not directly from the bar sometimes what happens that an individual joins the higher judiciary through an open recruitment test which is conducted by the state government under the obligation to appoint district judges so district judges are not directly appointed first an individual is given the post of additional district judge so in a sub division there could be many additional district judges but what happens with the passage of time they are given promotion to the higher post and subsequently they are also promoted to the high court so there is a rule which is followed by the high court that 85% of the appointment of the judges has to be done from the bar and 15% has to be done from the judicial services of a state so district judges do get promotion to high courts and they do become the justice of a high court so judges are appointed by the president so they are not under the governor it is the duty of the president to look whether a judge is doing duty as per the constitution or not so judges are appointed under article 217 sub clause 2 whereas judges of supreme court are appointed under article 124 sub clause 2 and the judges of supreme court retire at the age of 65 so this is the major difference between a judge of a high court and a judge of the supreme court of india supreme court is the apex court and supreme court is also the appellate court and high court is also a appellate court because the judiciary in our country is independent from executive but there is involvement of executive and legislature in the appointment but not in the not in the selection process selection is done purely by the collegium system which is a group of judges who decide and nominate the name of the candidate for the judgeship of the supreme court or of the high court so there have been many instances more than 6 instances where lawyers have been directly called to become judge of the supreme court from the bar yu yu lalit was such a lawyer and after that fali nariman was also called from bar to join the judgeship so what i am trying to say is there is a territorial jurisdiction this is the first difference major difference and then there is a hierarchy of courts at the lower level at the state level high court is the highest court 
and it is also has certain jurisdictions which it practices the lowest court in civil matter is munsif court and in the criminal matter the lowest court is of chief judicial magistrate second class now what is the difference between the chief judicial magistrate first class and chief judicial magistrate second class now they cannot award death sentence to an accused because they do not have the authority to do so they can fine they can impose fine penalty can be imposed that could be financial depending upon the nature of the case chief judicial magistrates look into the criminal matters matters which are not serious or bailable sometimes they try both cases be it bailable or non bailable non bailable cases are those cases in which bail is not given by the judge as a right to that person but it is upon the discretionary power of the magistrate so high courts also have the power to grant bail under section 439 of the crpc an accused can file an application before a judge for the anticipatory bail but anticipatory bail is given only when the person has not been arrested and there should be a reasonable cause reasonable ground reasonable cause for the fear that there is an apprehension that the person can be arrested anticipatory bail is given before the arrest of a person if the person has been arrested then there is no such provision of granting anticipatory bail to the person then the regular bail will be given or awarded depending upon the nature of the case if the offense alleged offense is of bailable nature it could be granted bail as a matter of right on the basis of surety provided or certain fines bail and bond is filed a bail can be given by a police officer or by a magistrate what is important about a court of session which is the highest court at the district level is that a district judge or let's say a session judge is not authorized to take cognizance of a crime directly it can only be done by the chief judicial magistrate because chief judicial magistrate has the authority to take the cognizance of an offense and then that case can be transferred to the sessions judge depending upon the nature of the case and after looking into the matter if the sessions judge is of the opinion that this matter cannot be tried by him then he can send back or transfer the case to the chief judicial magistrate and the magistrate will be under the obligation to follow the procedures that are mentioned as per the code of criminal procedure so this is the major difference